Okay, this afternoon's exploration is going to be something to do with drum kits and the arpeggiator. Um, first thing, I've just got a kit up here, doesn't matter which one you choose. This is called Becky Boys. Uh, off the MP7, we're looking at this setting here. Uh, we can have the arpeggiator off, which means you can just play the drums. And do what you want yep uh, we can put it on which then gives you the use of the arpeggiator now that's using it because excuse me you've just turned it on here the preset itself if we go into the preset and uh, oh, go using the shortcut to the ARP because it's a long way off. It says status off. So why is it playing? Well, that's because there it says on. So this, this takes priority. So if you've got a, a voice a preset, that t setting takes priority. However, you can also have it set on P, which is the preset mode. That's the standard which doesn't do anything unless we go to arpeggiator status and turn it on. So if we do that, great. Uh, then we can go over here to status, change that mode. And we've got lots of different modes. We've got up. Hooray, uh, and down. Great, up and down. Uh, forward, assigned. Forward, backwards, random. So random's quite good, you can have a few playing. And I've got this set at 80 beats per minute, obviously you can go up to silly BPMs. So we have a bit of fun. Um, so let's put it, leave it on random. Go to board, note value. Just drop the beats per minute down to the 80 again, if we can get there. No special number other than the fact that it's just a number. 80. Note value. Let's pop over to note value and have a look. So now we're on one beat per beat of 80 beats per minute. So we can drop it the other way around too. Mm -hmm. um, now, I wonder if we record those notes being pressed at that rate what would happen so we'll do a real time record so we've got it going around there and i haven't recorded anything i didn't um, set it as a metronome uh, so what we'll do quantize is off we'll turn that to a whole note half notes quarter notes eight notes and wait for it to come round. So that'll now start playing. It's on record plus, so you can add to that if you want. Just 
change the filter. So that'll now keep rolling round, which is interesting if we go into here and then change this note value. So now you've got something recorded on a track, four bars of it doing some random weird stuff. And you might think, okay, how fast do I want it playing? So say we want it to the an eighth triplet notes, uh, and then we can go to other values and change stuff. <clears throat> so the actual pattern speed you can alter as well. This is the pattern it's playing at the moment, so we can change that while it's playing. And it might be that you think it'd be okay, but I could do some different instruments playing at that time. So you can take that and go to arpeggiator back to the top line, go to tuning and transpose, and then we've got. So all it's doing is moving the keyboard up a bit, up a bit, up a bit, up the keyboard, the notes, sorry, up the keyboard, and then you get the different sounds beginning to play. transpose it down so it's like a bass line Right, well, those are there all day. So we'd stop there. We're happy with that. Still got noises in the background. Shut them up with MIDI and hold enter. Uh, so, but that's only for layer one. What's layer two? Let's go to um, three. The voice for layer two is that kit. Three is the finger bass and four is the string. Which I can't hear. I wonder why. Low key C5. So this is just another uh, point just to make. Uh, if you are trying to change the low and high keys, you could restrict using the, the obviously the select on here. But you can also press the key on the keyboard, and then perhaps transpose up twice and just C6, take it down one, and so I'll go from C2 up to C3, and that that'll just work in that range. Um, you could take it a bit 
higher. Is it five? So that's just a quick way of, of changing that. Yeah, each um, layer has its own uh, settings or its own ability to be set. Uh, if you change that down to all um, layer, sorry. Oh, right. Global. I wonder if you can layer all in a drum kit. I assume you can. Let's just check to see. <coughs> Where's layer all? Disabled. So I'm going to enable edit all layers back to global. Go to the preset edit now go back to here change all of that down to minus two and up to the top of the keyboard um, but i wasn't on layer all so i need to go to layer all and then layer all that So there you've got all four layers now playing at the same time rather than being spread out in sections on the keyboard or um, being layered only this two voices here and two voices here or whichever way you set it up. Now they're spread all the way across the keyboard if I just put that back to minus two where it was. All layers. So now we can look at each individual kit choice and layer two yep so um we'll have that off at the moment we're going to um Move forward to ARP, the arpeggiator. Um, go to not pattern, down to velocity is played, the gate. This is so that we can extend the time all the notes are played for. So all of a sudden in the background you can hear the gate getting longer and if we play So there's interesting things you can do with the gate. Keeping it short, ideal for the drum kits, putting a bit longer, and you can get all the other stuff going on in the background. And if you want your um, drums only just to be there, you can alter the attack, decay, sustain, release settings on your envelope. Um, if we go now, oh dear. Extension counts we have covered before, but this is another interesting one to put in um, to see how far you want the arpeggiator to spread out, both in octaves and in notes. Many a happy accident just by extending the extension count, changing the octave.
Protect the beat stone. here <clears throat> that arm gate arm velocity they're all set in the chord setting um, and obviously we can go in there in a moment we're just going to pop down to the next one which is the interval See. So, uh, so we'll drop that back down to three, and then we have key sync or quantized. So. So I don't know if you notice that there's a little delay when I press. That's because it's quantized, so it goes to the next note. Whereas if it's key sync, it'll play straight away. So quantized. <laughs> <laughs> 